be feminine, move to a nice new neighborhood because of the school system, etc, etc. Becomes very close to my next door neighbor. We'll call him Dan. Hang out with him every day for years. Do dumb shit together, like playing PS3, play wrestling, or just running around the woods in our backyard like a bunch of tards. Dan is two years older than me and was a total chad, but I liked hanging out with me and he definitely elevated my social status. Fast forward a few years. It's my 13th birthday. Invite all of my friends from middle school, including Dan. We spent the night eating pizza, watching movies, and talking about the current middle school gossip in my basement. All of my middle school thought friends are all hanging all over Dan, but I don't mind. A few of my friends sleep over, including Dan. We all watch White Noise 2, a scary monster I received as my birthday present, and I eventually fall asleep on the couch while the movie is playing. Sleep.jpg In the middle of the night, after all of my friends have fallen asleep, I feel my sock slip off. Think nothing of it. A few minutes go by, and I'm about to go back to sleepville when I feel a wet sensation on my 13-year-old toes. Pick my eyes open just a little to see Dan sucking in my big toe with his mouth. Internally panicking, I don't know what to do. Uncomfortable as fuck, my heart is beating so loud that I'm surprised Dan cannot hear it. Does not feel good, man. Panics and lightly kicks him in the face and turns on my side, trying to pull him off like I'm still sleeping. After a few minutes, he comes back for seconds. His tongue has a gross wet sensation. At being 13, I didn't understand the sexual aspect of it. Kicks him again, harder this time, and fake stretches. As I'm doing so, Dan dives onto the floor and pretends that he is sleeping. <laughs> I stand up slowly, faking grogginess to go to the bathroom, still only wearing one sock. To this day, I'm convinced that he definitely knew that I was aware, and that he was awake, and I knew what he had done. But for the sake, I acted aloof and oblivious. I come back from the bathroom and go to sleep on the couch. Dan is sprawled out on the floor. When I wake up, Dan is gone. My mom is making pancakes upstairs. I see him at school the following Monday, and doesn't mention what happened or anything. I've never talked to Dan about this incident, and it's been five years. This experience has haunted me forever.